We do have another threat of severe weather that happens on Friday, but let's kind of recap the month so far. We only have four <coughs> remaining days in March, if you can believe it, and that is not an April's Fools joke, but April Fools is about five days away on Saturday. But last six consecutive days now have been above normal. I do think that comes to an end tomorrow. We hit 77 in Tyler today and temperatures have come down considerably. We are now at 67 Windsor North at seven miles per hour. Lufkin at the last check and at this check still at 70. We do have higher humidity there, but the winds have now shifted from the south to the north, which will bring in those cooler temperatures. So these temperatures you see right now that's about what we're going to see through tomorrow afternoon. Here's satellite and radar. We do have a disturbance down to our south with that frontal boundary and that triggered a few showers and thunderstorms earlier today between San Angelo and Abilene that have pushed just to the south of the Dallas area. Now what happened with these storms was during the heat of the day they were moving off to the east, but once the sun set the temperature started to drop the instability decreased and they've really weakened now let's go ahead and zoom in to some of our northwestern counties. A couple of showers here and there from rains up into Wood County, but not too much and certainly not severe or anything like that. We could hear a rumble of thunder through about 10 11 o'clock tonight to our west and then in deep east Texas early tomorrow morning by about six seven o'clock. We're still tracking these showers here, but not much in the way of severe weather. And then as we look towards the afternoon, we should start to see those clouds decrease just a little bit and then they come right back at us tomorrow night in the Wednesday morning and I've gone ahead and put in at least a little mention of some showers. Less than 20% of us will see the rain, but nonetheless, a chance of rain is a chance of rain, so we do have that in play for your Wednesday, and you can see it right there. Some showers to our west try and move into our area. Okay, tonight's severe weather threat is generally just for extreme southern Trinity through Sabine County in that green. Could see some gusty winds and some pocket change hail. That's about it. 56 is your low temperature tonight. 20 to 30% of us may see the rain and then as we head into tomorrow, we continue to see a few clouds, mostly cloudy to start and then those temperatures will be in the 60s with those clouds slowly decreasing through the area. But look at that 3 o'clock 67 68 by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon and evening. So it's going to feel excellent outside. Not so much as we move into Friday. Still a slight risk of severe weather out for East Texas. So stay tuned on this, folks. We will be able to uh, provide you a timeline on Wednesday or Thursday when the storms are going to arrive. But here's what we know so far. This is Futurecast. This is one of our lower resolution long range forecast models, which gives us a good idea that we will see storms and we'll see some rain in the area, but doesn't necessarily give us the timing and the specific threats that we expect with this event. But nonetheless, there are some signals that we could see some strong storms Friday afternoon and Friday evening. You take this snapshot here. This is Friday at five o'clock and it does show a line of thunderstorms moving through the area, but they move out and we clear out just like that just in time for the weekend. Let's go ahead and check out that seven day forecast. And as you can see on your screen right here, we will see those highs in the upper 60s tomorrow, but we climb the temperature stair step back into the lower 70s for Wednesday. Again, went ahead and included a chance at a shower Wednesday and then again on Thursday night, but I think our main storm threat will be on Friday. A few showers around Saturday and Sunday and then back up to 84 next Monday. Deep East Texas 70s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday 83 Friday. We are tracking the same storms as what we're going to see in East Texas, so decent rain chances on Friday, followed by maybe a shower or two Saturday or Sunday, but we won't have to cancel any plans. Anything that falls this weekend will be light. Neil. Okay, the possibility.